Strong. Strong. All right, welcome back to SNES Trunk Plays Star Fox. This is part two. We're going to head into one of my favorite levels in any game ever, the Space Armada. The Space Armada consists of powerful battleships. Destroy their energy cores. Good luck. Good luck. All right, I love this because I love the music, and I love just the sh I, lo I love the cockpit, you know, viewpoint, as I said in the last episode. That's awesome. But I love just the sheer amount of ships that the computer throws at you. There's tons of stuff going on. There's big, big ass battleships. There's stuff you fly in, and like, you know, you take out like the energy core, the source thing. Now, these things start to pop up. You, you, they rotate when you hit them. Hit it three times, you get a free guy. So that's pretty cool. And these things, it's not necessary that you make them blow up, but I like making stuff go boom, so at the expense of my own ship sometimes. But all you gotta do is just shoot the levels and then, it, or shoot the lasers and it just starts smoking. But always be wary of these uh, plasma Cheerios. That's, <laughs> I always. My friend and I used to always joke that they should have made that a cereal, like plasma Star Fox plasma Cheerios. I guess Fruit Loops are a kind of plasma Cheerio. Just yeah, here's where you fly into one of these uh, pods, so to speak, and you you dodge the obstacles here. Very, very starts out very simple. Grab a shield here, that helps, thank you. Hit that to make it open, and then you want to blow up this rotating prism here, and that will blow up the module, and you f get the hell out of there as fast as you can. Pretty cool. Oh, and look, S Slippy needs help again. You know, it's like, why was he even enlisted? How did he pass training and initiation? Weren't there any other freaking talking animals that could have been made pilots. Any other talking frogs or maybe a freaking talking wolf? I guess that happened in the other game, huh? And that uh, ring, by the way, there that I just flew through, the static ring, the one that just sits there, that indicates that you're halfway through the level, and if you die, you start at that point. Now, another thing with these little pods that you fly into is that you can actually go around these but you do have to eventually go through it. You um, you can, yeah, you shoot these. The arrow indicates which direction it'll go when it'll shoot. Whoa, I'm getting careless here, holy shit. I'm <laughs> flying drunk. Oh my god, that was stupid. Oh no, oh no, oh god, I suck. <laughs> that was a bad sequence there. That was very bad, but hey, I got a, a bomb out of it. Anyway, yeah, um, flying, you can fly around these but it, you, you can't skip them, basically. It just repeats the battleship part that you were just just at. You do have to eventually knock these out, at least two of them. So once you get the second one down, get the hell out of there. And now you've got these big ass, yeah, here, cruise ships that fly and don't really do anything. They're just kind of there. I like that though, because they're like big slow space manatees that just kind of hover in your way. I guess they do shoot missile things at you. And I can shoot missile things too. And it goes down, this thing crosses your path. Let's make it blow up. It doesn't really blow up, it just kind of takes damage and starts smoking and stuff. Here's another checkpoint. Get that, and we are almost at the boss. We just need to dodge some more plasma Cheerios, plasma Fruit Loops. Oops, didn't dodge that one. That wasn't very tasty. Okay, now <clears throat> we're caught in the tractor beam. It's sucking us in. Suck, suck, suck. Sorry, space balls reference. All right, so I'm almost at full power. I've got four things. And again, shoot shoot the arrow, and that will indicate which direction it will go. Not direction, not the direction that you should go. It's telling you where it's going, not where you you should go. And as we get a little complex here, being very careful. Go down, go up. It's very simple on the surface, but one minor little hit, as you saw in the last one, and it can throw your game way off. 
Those guys are pushovers, just there for life farming, basically. Get these things out of the way. Now this part right here is a little goofy. <laughs> when I first played this, I first got this far, I thought I was the one piloting this and like doing these crazy like bendy moves. No, the game is the one flying. I was like, how did I get, how did I do that without getting, running into the wall? Okay, so here we are at the energy core boss. We need to take out the things on the side to open up an opportunity to shoot at the energy core. And in the meantime, you get these ships that try and fly at you that knock you out of whack. A lot of stuff going on here. And in the meantime, it's going to change directions and you got to flip over. You get a very brief window for when, after you knock out these beams here. Oh, there we go, here we go. So you get about a 10 to 15 second window and that's all I need. Fuck you. That's all. Good night. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the next level. But yeah, if you're a beginner and the first time playing that game, that can be, that can take a long time to, to get, cause the, th the three beams there come right back. <coughs> and then the, you know, you gotta blow them up all over again just to get another shot at the core, but that was no problem. So moving right along. What's next? Oh, we're headed to a meteor, or an asteroid. It's called a meteor in the game, but it's clearly an asteroid. Another 100%, and I have two continues that I don't need. Oh well. Rock around the clock. Oh, it is called... Yeah, it's, it's called Meteor in the game. That's, that's, not a, that's not a meteor. But they built a base on it. Be sure to use your retros if you're going too fast. <laughs> is that the game's way of saying slow the fuck down because the pop-up issues on this level are terrible? Whoa, look out, shit. Yeah, I do like how the game does that. It, it has stuff come from behind you. To, it's kind of a change of pace there. Yeah, it's a, anyway, it's a, another planet surface level, just like the first level, only this one is obviously much darker. And Slippy needs help again. And just for the sake of, if, if that has anything to do with getting 100%, I want to keep saving him. And here we have really comically bad pop-up issues. This is absurd right here. Yeah, that's a big... Whoa, oh my god. <laughs> that's, that is a substantial reason why this game has not aged well. And why you want to usually want to play Star Fox 64 instead of this one. Or even Star Fox 64 on the 3DS. It's stuff like that. Oh, is that... Yeah, I love these helicopters that come in. Even though they're very... I love how they crash. Like, they take one little hit. Oh, there's another extra life there. Oh, let's take the plasma ball hit just to get this extra life that I don't really need. I just like collecting them. I wonder what they were thinking when they came up with these voices like I know it's like well it takes up too much memory for for voices you know actual voices I mean god remember Blades of Steel for the NES I mean I'm sure the the guy announcing the game Blades of Steel and probably took up half the game's memory so you can't have recorded dialogue on a on a you know it's it's going to take up too much space so I wonder what the what the thought process was like. Well, let's just have a mutter mutter gibberish. We can't just have them silent. Like, why can't we just have them silent? I don't know. What if we just had them go? <laughs> it's just sorry. It's just more drunk ramblings by me. I'm not really drunk. I'm just kind of, you know, you got to come up with stuff to talk about. God, again, he needs help. I'm really tempted to just say fuck you and just let him die in a smoldering pile of rubble. Ugh. But I want to keep getting those 100%. I th I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it or not, but I'm not risking it. Okay, here we go with this really strange looking boss. You just keep shooting the legs so he'll lift him up, 
and then he'll spin horizontally. In the meantime, he's throwing these plasma balls at me. And then he, once he's spinning horizontally, he will come at you. And you gotta fly above or below him. It's kind of neat. I like, I like how they did this boss. Very strange design. I like, I appreciate any strange design. Okay, when his, whoa, I did not do a good job. Did not do a good job dodging that. But when his legs turn red, that's when you fire at will. And you gotta get down underneath, because sometimes he goes above, sometimes he goes below. And once you take off some legs, oh, I did not dodge that very well. Once you take off some legs, he stays in that form and he starts shooting that weird fire thing at you. But since we have the all ultra powered uh, thing, cannon, double beam. That guy's no problem whatsoever. So there we go. I think that about wraps up another episode of uh, Snestruck Plays Star Fox. I uh, hope to finish the game next episode and another 100%. So uh, stay tuned and thanks, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.